Hello y'all, in this video I'm going to go over every leader for India slash the British Raj in the video game Hearts of Iron 4. I will give you their ideology, how to get them, and a little bit of their history from real life. We're going to start with Lord Withwingo, also known by his actual name, Victor Hope. He is the leader of the British Raj at the start of the game and represents British authority in India. Ideologically, he is not aligned, and historically, he was the Viceroy and Governor General of India from 1936 to 1943. Moving on to the democracy ideology, we have B. P. Sitayamiya or Bogaraju Patabi Sitayamiya. The most effective way to get him as a leader would be, I guess, is to do to focus Indian National Congress and get the political advisor from that. In real life, Sitayamiya was the president of the Indian National Congress from 1948 to 1949 and a state governor in the 1950s. Next is V. D. Savarkar or Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, who in the game is fascist. To get him, I'd say complete the focus, seek help from Germany in the Raj focus tree, and hope the German Reich chooses not to support you. Savarkar, in real life, is the man who developed the Hindu nationalist political ideology of Hindufa. Representing communism, we have P. Krishna Pillai. Fastest way to get him in charge, I'd say, would be to do the focus, seek help from Soviet in the focus tree. Pillai historically was a founding leader of the Communist Party of India in Kerala. We have one more fascist leader from the game and one more leader altogether, and that is Subhas Chandra Bose. He can come to power via the focus Indian National Army if Germany chooses to support Indian independence. Bose in real life is a controversial figure who is known for his patriotism in India. However, he chose to go about this by trying to rid India of British rule with the help of Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, and that part is where the controversy comes in. Some see him as a hero, and others as a malicious Axis collaborator. That's every leader for India, and by extension the British Raj, in Hearts of Iron 4. Which one would you pick to lead the country? Tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.